Hello, this is a Keycloak tutorial on managing forgotten passwords. In this tutorial, we will go over the admin resetting a password either temporarily or permanently. We will learn how you can have a forgot password link on the login page and how the user can reset their password via email. Finally, to get these demos to work, we'll have to set up an SMTP server for the Realm so that Keycloak can send emails to users that have forgotten passwords. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Keycloak admin console. Okay, so we're going to log into the admin console. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up SMTP for the master realm. So right now, uh, if you have run other tutorials, you might have the demo realm on by default. You're going to go here and switch to master. After you've done that, go to the settings left menu item here. And go to email and what I'm going to use for my SMTP server is my Google account and Google lives on smtp.gmail.com the port is 465 you have to specify sender email address and I'm going to put keycloak at gmail.com you're going to enable SSL and TLS and you also have to enable authentication if you're using Google and my username is keycloak at gmail.com. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to tell you my password. And I'll click save. Okay, we have our email server set up now. Uh, one thing I want to do before we go forward is make sure that the admin user has an email address. Otherwise, you won't be able to send them a forgot password email. So my admin here is keycloak at gmail.com. Click save. The final thing we have to do is go to the settings left menu item here. Go into the login submenu item. Click on the forgot password switch here. Turn it to on and hit save. So now when I log out, you'll see that there is a forgot password link. So let's let's click that. I'll click that. I'll specify my username. You can specify your email too. And I'll hit submit, and an email will be sent to me. You should get a little message here. You should receive an email shortly with further instructions. So I'll go to my uh, Gmail account. I'll look in my inbox here, and you'll see that. an email has been sent to me from me <laughs> uh, if you open up this um, email here you'll see that us uh, an email sent by keycloak saying someone just requested to change your keycloak accounts password if this was you click the link below to set a new password so this this whole email template can actually be uh, configured in one of our themes um, if you're interested in doing that, then go to uh, our documentation that describes how to set up a theme. But anyway, I'll click on this link here, and you'll see Keycloak will ask me to enter in a new password for admin. I'll put that in on submit, and now I'm logged in. So that's forgot password via email. Some other scenarios you might have for a forgotten password is you might want to have the admin to reset the password. So what the admin would have to do is uh, it would have to go to the user and under the user's page you'll see a credential submenu item. You click on that. When you click on that um, there's multiple options that you can do as an admin to force a, a password change. You can temporar temporarily reset the password. And I'll put a new password in as password. So I'll click reset here. And once I do that, for this particular way of resetting a password, I actually have to tell the user verbally what their new temporary password is. And when the user 
attempts to log in, they'll have to enter in a new password. So let's try that out. Go back to login page. See, um, I entered in that temporary password, and now I have to specify a new one. Click submit. Logged in. Okay. Another way to reset the password is you can do it permanently. To do it permanently, you click temporary to off and specify the new password. You can also um, send a, a, a reset password email if you set up your email server. You click this button and the user will get the same email that um, you saw when they click the forgot password link. Some other interesting things you can do with managing passwords is you can set up a password policy. If you go to the settings left tab here and you click on the credentials link, you can uh, specify a Realm password policy. There's different policies you can do. You can specify the, the minimum length of a password. You can specify um, how many digits the password is supposed to contain. Uh, if, should there be a lowercase or uppercase letter? If there's any special characters. Another thing. So let, let's do that. We could specify a length um, of of two. A minimum length of two characters for our password. Click save, and now I have a password policy. Um, another thing you can do is hashing iterations. Hashing iterations are how many times the password is hashed before it's stored in the database. The default is one. Um, this is for performance reasons. Now, what what the security folks recommend for hashing iterations is actually 20,000 iterations. That might seem a little crazy, but um, computers these days, um, if they have access to a password database, they can hack hashes um, within um, a few days or so if your hashing iterations are low. So their recommended amount is 20,000. But if you set it to 20,000, it's going to seriously slow down Keycloak because doing those hashes takes a lot of CPU power. So as an admin, you're going to have to decide whether or not scaling or password security is more important to you. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Check out our website for more information on Keycloak. We have documentation and more videos. Thanks. Bye.